Um, Jesus knew what was ahead for them. He had wanted them to also ask God for help. Then he told the disciples, the time has come. I am betrayed into the hands of evil men. Suddenly a darkness was, sh was the, suddenly the darkness was shattered by torchlight. A mob, including Roman soldiers. Do, 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 where's my mob? Do, be, do, boo. And this mob uh, was brought by um, the rulers of the synagogue. Okay, here we got some mob people. Pretty good. Oh, I dropped my mob of people. This is where Sadie comes in very handy. She's always willing to help me with this. And she likes to put people flying in the sky for some reason. I guess she thinks that's funny. Which, okay, I do too. Um, all these people, all these people, 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 we need a mob. Mob of people, oh, we need Roman soldiers. Okay, I think that's at a, that does pretty good for uh, a mob. Okay, um, so now we got over here is, um, we're saying these are Peter, James, and John. They're here. Jesus is there. And Jesus went, um, da -da 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 -da. suddenly the darkness was shattered by torchlight. A mob, including Roman soldiers, surged through the streets. Um, there, that feller. He's pointing out somebody. Suddenly the darkness was shattered by torchlight. A mob, including Roman soldiers, surged through the trees, their swords glistening in the moonlight. Somebody texted me. Um, Jesus, Judas walked up to Jesus and kissed him. So he betrayed them. And not only did, did Ju Judas made uh, a deal with the Pharisees, the religious rulers, and said, I know where Jesus will probably be. I know where he hangs out. I know where he likes to go. Um, and I will uh, betray him. I'll show you where he's at. I'll point him out um, for 30 pieces of silver. So they gave Judas the money. And then he tells them, okay, uh, you'll know which one is Jesus because I'll go up to him and I'll kiss him. What a terrible way to, um, to betray someone. Not only did he betray Jesus and, and got money to point him out um, for him to be captured, um, but he said, he, I'll do it, but you'll know the one because I'll, I'll give him a kiss. You know, they kissed him on the cheek. And I love, I hope this says it. I haven't read it beforehand, but I hope that it says what Jesus said to Judas. Um, Judas walked up to Jesus and kissed him. This was the sign that Judas had said he would give. Nope, it doesn't say it, so I'll tell you. Um, uh, when Judas kissed Jesus, there's, there's um, uh, four uh, people who wrote, it's the same gospel account, the life of Jesus and what he did um, during his ministry, how he called his disciples, all of that. But it's written by four different people who focused on four different things. If we had four different, if we four people witnessed something, they're gonna notice details that the other person didn't. So you got Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Um, but in one of them, and I can't tell you which one, but one of them, when Jesus went up and he kissed um, Jesus, um, he embraced him and gave him a kiss. Jesus said, why, why have you come, friend? And I love that Jesus, Jesus called him friend, and yet um, he knew that Judas was betraying him. So there was a problem with their friendship, you could say, but it wasn't Jesus' part. Um, the soldiers moved forward to arrest Jesus, and Peter was furious. Peter was a very kind of quick to move on things, quick to say when he shouldn't say anything, quick to move when he shouldn't move. But I still I love Peter. There's a lot about Peter. 
that um, is great qualities. Peter was furious. He pulled out a sword of his own and lashed out wildly, cutting off the ear of one of the high priest's servants. Remember, Peter was a fisherman. He was not, um, not a soldier by any means. He was probably aiming for the guy's head to whack it off, but he, instead he just got his ear. Ever what? He whacked off the ear of the high priest's servant. Put your sword away, Peter, Jesus said firmly. If I wish to be free, I could call armies of angels to fight for me, but I am ready to give up my life according to God's plan. Then Jesus gently touched the man's ear and healed him. The frightened disciples watched as Jesus allowed the soldiers to take him away. In panic and despair, the disciples deserted Jesus and fled. If you had been in the garden that night, what do you think that you would have done? Um, I love, Jesus was actually in complete control here. He was arrested, but the, um, the religious leaders did not want it to happen during the Passover, which is the next video that I'll make, um, because there was a lot of people, a lot of emotions. It was a high religious time. It's kind of like Christmas time is a very different time. Uh, you can feel it in the environment, um, more so in the past, and I think than it is today, but um, it's still there. And um, uh, so it was the same way here. There was a lot of people in the area. They, was, they were very uh, uh, kind of excited about the Passover and um, it wasn't the right time and they did not want to do it. Um, they didn't want to arrest Jesus and do anything with him during the Passover, but that is exactly when it happened because Jesus was in complete control at all. And he said, of it all. He said, if I, if I did not want this to happen, I could call legions of angels and it would not happen. And so um, Jesus, they didn't kill or murder Jesus. He gave up his life willingly. Um, so there's this, oh, there's so much I could say about this, but I'm going to leave it there and save some for another time. And I hope you enjoyed this part. If you have any questions, please let me know. And uh, we'll go over it. And I hope you enjoy the next one as well. I miss my peeps.